Although the last weekend brought rain to northern Taiwan, water levels at many reservoirs are still at alarming lows. With no end to the drought in sight, administrators of Shinzu Science Park say they want to dig wells in the park itself to supply factories. Speaking on the plan, Economics Minister Wang Meihua says an impact assessment will need to come first to, de to determine whether wells would trigger land subsidence. We can activate this water pump, and over on this side, water comes out for people to collect. Below the wooden planks, it's a water pump for times of emergency. With the drought turning dire in Shinju, these reserve pumps are on standby to offer respite. It puts me more at ease. If we run out of water, we can all come here to get some. <laughs> it's more convenient with a deep water well. Home to big factories and lots of residential users, the greater Shinju area has long struggled with water shortages. Long ago, it set up a host of wells for emergencies. Last year, due to the drought, the government did a survey of all reserve wells in the nation, counting about 1,250. Among them, 160 are already connected to the Taiwan Water Corporation supply system, providing 340,000 tons of water a day. But with no end to the drought in sight, Shinju says it's thinking of digging even more more wells to directly supply its plants. It's a plan that's raised concerns that the land on the park could cave in. When digging a well, it has to be in a place with plentiful water reserves and where the land will not subside. Weekend showers in northern Taiwan have deposited 6.21 million tons of water in local reservoirs. Though Shinju's Baoshan and Baoshan 2 reservoirs gain 36 millimeters, they're still at just 12.34 percent capacity in a alarming low. Actually, we have been feeling the effects of climate change since 2018. We have to be prepared, which is why the forward-looking infrastructure plan has 1.96 billion NT for emergency water wells. To keep the drought from slowing down production, the government is scrambling to develop more water sources. President Tsai Ing-wen took to social media with a message to the nation, asking everyone to do their part and conserve water. Also on social media, Central Weather Bureau head Zheng Mingdian warned that little rain is expected in central and southern Taiwan until plum rain season in May. He, too, urged the public to conserve.